New Zealand's dairy industry plays a very big part in our economy. It's New Zealand's number one exporter to the world. Many things have stayed the same over the years, but some farmers do things differently for many reasons, such as health improvements for cows and humans and increased profit. Dave Yates is one of these people who are taking risks and doing things differently on his farm, known as Heritage Farms. Robotic cow sheds have many advantages over traditional sheds. A robotic cow shed allows the cows to get milk whenever they want to, so they don't get stressed or agitated with walking with all the other cows. The robotic cow shed allows the cow to get milk every 24 hours, 7 days a week, without the farmer needing to be there. When the cows are getting milk, the farmer does not have to be there unless there is a breakdown. In that event, they will receive an automatic phone call from the computer in the shed. If the cows have been milked twice in the past 24 hours, the gates to the milking shed will not allow them to go through anymore, and the cows are sent to a brand new paddock or their previous paddock. If the cows don't come in to milk within the 24 hours, it will come up as a warning on the farmer's computer or phone, so that's when the farmer will have to go and get the cow. When, when there's a time here that tells you how long they've been waiting to get milk, and if it's a red line, it means that it um, hasn't been milked for 16 hours. So they're the ones that are um, haven't been milked for a while. When the cows get into the milking stage, there are gates that lock the cows in while they are getting milked. And to keep the cows happy, there is food to eat in there. After the cows get logged in, there is a camera that is like a laser that picks up where each teat is and puts the cups on one by one. The cup team from a long tube that sucks the milk out from each teat. The milking machine will not let the cow leave until they have produced the same amount or more milk that the cow has produced the day before. Keeping track of cows must be hard, so how does Mr Yates do it? So we have 87 cows down our morning paddock, and there's 38 in our afternoon paddock, and at the moment there's none in the night paddock. And um, then we can refresh that and now that we see it's changed so that there's now 10 in our yard down here to milk, 39 in our afternoon paddock and 78 in the morning paddock. As well as being a high tech farm, Heritage Farms is also organic. Many people go organic because they believe having man made fertilisers, medicines and sprays causes health issues. We went organic because um, uh, my health was suffering from the sprays that we used on the um, on the farm, uh, sprays to kill the weeds and we use sprays to um, kill the uh, lucerne flea and um, wasn't good for my health and um, my father had died of cancer and I didn't want to um, end up being like that. So f for our own health we went to organic. Some people find that going organic is better for the cows as well as humans. They stay in good condition and have a lot more milk to produce. Mr Yates has decided to use organic seaweed fertilisers instead of chemical fertilisers for better grass growth and for soil health. Instead of using conventional medicines, Mr Yates has gone for homeopathic remedies because he believes it is better for the cows. For example, when the cows get worms, he gives them vermis. Going organic has many benefits for Mr Yates, including more money for his milk. He gets paid more for his milk because families would rather pay more money for organic milk than regular milk because they know that it hasn't been produced with man-made chemicals along the way. It has taken Misty Yates many years to get where he is today. He has learnt a lot throughout the organic and robotic farming transformation and because of this there has been many benefits that other farmers can learn from.